Hey everyone, JP Lacey here with the Washington Pokemon team, uh, bringing you my Week Six battle versus Keygen of the Detroit Rainbow Wings. Um, so, just going to give you a little bit of uh, insight as far as you know my team as we get ready to, to view the match here. Um, I am facing uh, my opponent has Earth. I mean, um, Rillaboom, G Max, Lapras, G Max. Um, Heatran, Driftblim, uh, Kangaskhan, so um, definitely some, some struggles, but uh, Urshifu looks really good against his team, um, so does Crustle, um, and then Tauros can also do well with uh, Anger Fort, so um, just taking a look at pre team preview here, um, pretty much everything that I was expecting, uh, we brought Uxie, I was thinking it was either Uxie or um, Jolteon, I'm happy with Uxie, I think I'm prepared for it. Um, so the goal here, um, you know, Frost Last Tauros, I'm thinking is probably going to be my game one lead. Um, you know, basically I've got three different leads here, and they're kind of uh, from top to bottom: Crustle Starmie, Versus Thunderous, or Frost Last Tauros. Um, so I'm going to give Frost Last Tauros a, a try game one. I figure my Tauros is bulky enough, so if he goes Drifloon, um, Real Boom, you know, it's fine if I don't have the speed control. Um, now, as long as he doesn't double into my frost last, I should be fine to set up the uh, the um, anger points on the Tauros. Uh, in the back, I'm going to go with Urshifu. Um, matches up really well against the whole team. Everything gets hit super effectively except for Rillaboom, um, you know, which it hits neutral with both of its stab attacks. Uh, I didn't go U-turn, I thought about it, but no U-turn on Urshifu. Um, and then Starmie, you know, in case he's got... Uh, Casey's got heat training in the back. Um, so let's let's see what uh, he brings. He ends up taking most of the time here on the timer. So um, you know, I'm really just thinking. All right, let's see if I can I can get a uh, anger point off on my Tauros. Um, if so, I think I'm in good shape. Um, if I am not able to, then it, it might be a bit of an issue. So. Taking a look at his lead, he leads Kangaskhan Rillaboom. Um, I was somewhat, you know, expecting this as a possible lead. Um, kind of stinks because this is probably one of his best leads against my team. But um, I am Focus Sash on Frostlass, and I did put Protect on it to uh, cover for a Scrappy Fake Out. So I think here I'm just going to Protect Turn One, um, and then just go to Town and Max. I am. Uh, I am assault vested, so um, I'm just going to strike here, um, just in case, like you know, King's Con's uh, choice scarf or something, just to make sure that I can get off that uh, that frost breath and anchor point turn two. I thought about knuckling, but I figured out I'm going to frost breath next turn, so knuckle boost is kind of a waste, and I'm not taking a King's Con one shot with a with a knuckle without the without the boost on the uh, from the anger point so and then as expected um, frost last protects Kangas Khan clicks fake out into it um, so I got that turn right and then just a grassy glide comes out onto the Tauros and pretty bulky so doesn't do a whole lot. Um, Strike comes out. I'm not expecting a KO this time, but just some, some decent damage on the board. Um, and then once I get that Frost Breath off, you know, I can start taking on, taking some KOs next turn. So um, I'm expecting he's going to Grassy Glide into Frost Last here, um, but I've got Sash, so I should be okay. Um, and then I think I'm going to target down the Kangaskhan. No, I target down the Urshifu, um, just get that out of the way, get, get rid of those grassy glides. But then um, Sucker Punch comes out, and I was not prepped for this at all whatsoever. Um, so, I mean, Cursed Body, whatever, it doesn't really help me here. Um, I'm not getting my Frost Breath off, and now I've got an issue. So, um, I'm just hoping that, you know, now I just need to out both rather than out, uh, you know, 
out offense him. Um, I'm in a bit of a weird situation. I've, I've got to bring out my Urshifu now. Um, luckily, his priority's gone, so um, that's nice at least. You can see I got Curse, curse Body on both of those moves, so um, I guess I, uh, you know, RNG um, return favor um, from a few weeks back when I had Curse Body uh, activate on, on both my mons uh, against. Uh, um, when I played that Jellison. Um, so here I'm, I'm in a weird spot. I'm, I'm Choice Scarf on my, uh, on my Starmie. Um, I know I can take a Grassy Glide, but Grassy Glide's disabled, so I don't even have to worry about that. I'm thinking maybe an Icy Wind picks up this KO on, on, uh, Rillaboom, and then I'm gonna go with a Knuckle here to, um, get myself an attack boost at least, just get something going offensively. I don't have much offensive investment in Taros and in that Prof Brackets. There's not much going for it. Um, he switches out his Rillaboom. Icy Wind does um, nothing. <laughs> um, you see the Knuckle come out. I don't, I don't have much offense here. Um, it's not going to pick up the KO. So, um, a bit of an issue. Uh, Kings kind of goes for double edge. Does a fair bit of damage. Um, I'm locked into Icy Wind, uh, that doesn't help me at all here, um, and, uh, Oxy's gonna set up Trick Room and there's not really much I can do about it, um, I'm assuming probably Lapras from the back to Max, um, so, here I'm thinking about what I should do, I'm thinking about maybe I'll Double Edge into Oxy, maybe I'll Earthquake, but that's gonna take out my own Mon. Um, like close combat, but I don't want the, the special defense drop, so um, I end up picking Rock Slide, hoping for like maybe just a flinch, you know, maybe a flinch can get me back in it if I flinch, flinch a hooksy, um, and if that's enough damage to take out this Kang's Con. Uh, missed the Icy one on the Kang, um, doesn't really matter a whole lot, I mean maybe a little extra damage would have been nice. Um, Rock Slide comes out. Doesn't get the KO on Kangaskhan, so that Icy Wind miss probably uh, probably did come into play. I probably would have taken out the Kangaskhan. Um, instead, Kangaskhan takes out itself with the double edge, takes out Starmie. Uh, not a huge deal. I mean, this this game one's probably over anyway. I don't get the flinch. Uh, game one's definitely over now. Um, I've got Urshifu in the back, and so. And I'm choice band Urshifu, so I'm thinking, uh, yeah, it's not great. I've got two fast, fast Dermons on the field under Trick Room. Um, he's got, you know, Real Boom in the back, even though it doesn't have a lot of health. It, it can pick up KOs with uh, Grassy Glide before I can. Um, so I don't even know what to do here. I mean, um, I could Wicked Blow. I could sucker punch, but um, I guess I'll just brick break. Uh, I'm running a lot of special defense investment on this Urshifu, um, so I know I can take one hit from Lapras. Um, and, uh, and then I'm thinking, well, if I, if I get the brick break off, I break, break the screen, he's probably gonna wanna set up the Aurora Veil. Vale. Um, and then I close combat into it. Maybe I can take it out, with, you know, and then, give myself a fighting chance. Um, but now I am locked in the Brick Break um, with Urshifu. So I'm not really able to touch this Uxi. So Uxi actually ends up being a bit of a problem here. Um, I wasn't too worried about it coming in, but it's uh, proven to be a uh, difficult game one. So um, I think he's got foul play on it. Uh, not really very offensive on, on my Tauros, but if I did get that anger point off, it would have taken it out. Um, as you can see, I survived that. Uh, I survived that. Um, uh, you know, whatever it's called, resonance. Um, get off my brick break. Does a does a ton of damage. I wasn't expecting. Oh, and I saw that Lapras was um, was uh, what you call it, life orb. Um, don't pick up the KO. 
just barely miss out on it with the uh, close combat. I would have expected the close combat to do more, but I don't know. I didn't do any calcs on, on it after the game. Maybe I low rolled it. Maybe it just, it, you know, plus one Tauros. I think I've got 84 attack TVs into it. It's not doing a ton of damage. Um, so here I'm, I'm kind of, you know, dead in the water. I don't even know what to do. Maybe I'll just double edge see if I can get some take out a K, you know, take out Oxy. Um, in retrospect, maybe I should have just close combat it again uh, into Lapras just to help my differential a little bit. But um, either way, I'm not. I'm not winning this, this match. So, foul play comes off in the Tauros again. Survive with a sliver. Uh, so, I guess that's cool. Uh, and, you know, Urshifu's never did in that. I was locked in a brick break anyway. Um, crit didn't matter. Um, and then, uh, and I'll double edge here and take myself out and that will be game one. So I don't even pick up that KO. I don't even pick up a KO this uh, this game. The only 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 mon that went down was his uh but it is nice to see that it's a citrus berry on Oxy. So I don't have to worry about dark resist berry. I don't have to worry about mental herb so um, good info. I mean I'm glad that I got that info because it, it will come into play later in the match. Um, Sure, I'll take this lead card. Um, so, moving into game two, I uh, I'm in a tough spot. I know that um, this Rillaboom Kangaskhan lead counters both my setup leads that I want to that I want to bring. Um, with the Sucker Punch and the Grassy Glide, I I calc my um, my Starmie to live a Grassy Glide every time and I have Choice Scarf on it so that I outspeed Jolteon so that I can get the weak armor weakness policy off on Crustle. Um, but with a Sucker Punch, it's never gonna live that. So um, my only option here is going with my Thunderous Urshifu lead. Um, the problem is I don't have a flying attack on Thunderous. Um, I don't really have a way to hit this, um, hit this Rillaboom. Um, and then in the back, I'm going to go Crustle Starmie. Maybe I can take out one of either Urshifu or Kangaskhan and then get Crustle and Starmie out on the field together. Um, set up Crustle and, you know, hopefully just start picking off KOs. So, um, you know, Thunderous, it's a, it's a support Thunderous again this week. Um, in retrospect, uh, offensive Thunderous might have been better. Who knows? Um, but... You know, I mean, maybe into that one, one particular, one particular lead. Um, so I'm just gonna try to pick up a KO with, uh, with my lead of, of Urshifu, Urshifu Thunderous, um, and then set up with, set up my, my Crustle in the back, and, and hopefully that will get, get me, uh, give me the win game two, um, and try to force a game three. Um, my uh, in my league, I'm, I'm I'm one of in my division, I should say, I'm one of two undefeated teams. Uh, the other undefeated team won this week, so I'm trying to keep pace, uh, stay on top of the leaderboard. So you know, let's get into game two. I'm I'm kind of expecting the same lead. I mean, you know, maybe I get Driftloom Rillaboom. That would have been nice, but nope, same lead again. Um, so here. I know that, you know, I'm expecting a fake out into Urshifu, um, and maybe they're thinking that, that Thunderous maxes. Um, I even think about maxing the Urshifu here, um, but I'm just going to go with a Wicked Blow into Rillaboom. Um, maybe they read that I'm support Thunderous and, and fake out the Thunderous, so um, I don't want to waste a max. Um, especially because I want I want Crustle in the back to max, so I want to save it for Crustle. Uh, Crustle matches up really well against um, against you know all four mons from last game, so uh, I just got to get it set up. Um, fake out comes out to be expected. Grassy Glide comes out. 
into Urshifu, does a ton of damage. Um, and I just get a Thunderbolt off into Kangaskhan. I think that Kang is AV. Um, you know, very, uh, yeah, these are two very popular AV mons, but it looks like Kang's got the AV. Um, I'm not really sure what what item I got on Rillaboom here. Um, so now my my uh, my Urshifu is definitely going to go down here. Um, maybe I could switch to Sucker Punch. Maybe that would have helped. Um, I'm just trying to, you know, do some disruption. Maybe get a full power on the real boom so that I can get uh, so that I can get um, some damage off with Urshifu, but no full para and Urshifu goes down. Double Edge comes out from Kangaskhan and actually one shots my Thunderous, um, another crit, so um, I would have lived without that crit, but I actually don't mind it. I'm kind of happy about it because I can get my um, my Starmie out next to my Crustle. Um, the only problem is, is a Grassy Glide and, and a Sucker Punch are, are taking out my uh, are taking out my Starmie, so I'm not even sure if I have the uh, have the ability to set up my Crustle the way I, I need to. Um, and with no other mons in the back, a flip turn just lo not blocks me into flip turn. So um, I'm just hoping for a, a full power here, and hopefully I can clutch out this game with Crustle. Uh, it's kind of Crustle against the world right now, so we'll see. Uh, we'll see if he's able to pull it off here. Out comes the max on my end. Um, Crust is the slowest thing on the field right now, so no max coming out on his end. Um, I'm, I wouldn't expect it. He, he wants to keep his priority for um, taking out this Stymie, I would assume. So, um, Sucker Punch comes out into Stymie, and now I'm thinking this is game over. I just need to. Oh, no. No grassy glide. Um, okay, I'm still in it. Um, Crustle is uh, Crustle set up. Um, I go with my Flutterby into the Earth. I mean the the Rillaboom. Uh, that's a one shot every time. And you know now I've got a uh, now I've got a fighting chance. Um, Starmie's locked into uh, flip turn, um, and I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm timid Starmie, so it's kind of useless if it's just sitting there. Um, you know, it's just going to sit there, maybe eat, eat up sucker punches. Um, not that it really would do a ton otherwise. I mean, I, I could, uh, or no, I'm, I'm bold. Yeah, I'm bold to live the to live the grassy glide. I'm bold, Starmie. Um, so yeah, now I just flutter by into Oxy, take that out so it doesn't set up Trick Room. Um, I know that it's it's Citrus Berry. I'm also gonna flip turn into it just to get a little extra chip jam damage. Um, he helping hands, so I guess he knows that he's gonna go down to this this flutter by. Um, Sucker Punch comes out onto Starmie. Um, Flip turn does nothing. Um, Flutterby comes out, and I'm just hoping this thing picks up this KO, and it does. So now I'm, I'm you know, I got two mons left. Um, he's got two mons left. Um, I'm expecting a, uh, a sucker punch into Starmie will probably pick up the last of it, um, and I'm expecting Lapras in the back. I know that a rock fall from Crustle picks up the KO on Lapras almost every time. Um, it just depends on how he's EV. He could be EV very physically defensive to live this. Um, but I'm also thinking, you know, I gotta make a read here. Um, if he if 
he protects Lapras, I could end up losing the game. If he, if, if he doesn't protect Lapras and I go into Kangaskhan, I'm definitely losing, or probably losing the game. Um, so, I, I just go into Lapras hoping he doesn't protect it. Um, and then, uh, you know, I'm, I'm more scared of Lapras into, into uh, Crustal than I am Kangaskhan into Crustal. But he does read me and he does guard. Um, I guess it was easy greed to make, um, but I went with the safe play there instead of the aggressive play. The Sucker Punch comes out, um, picks up the KO on Starmie, um, Rockfall comes out, and uh, yeah, he guards. So now I'm like, man, I'm in a tough spot. I mean, I can rock record into this uh, into this Lapras, and I might be able to take it out after um, after Life Orb Chip. But then I, I I gotta eat up two two full turns from Kangaskhan, um, and outspeed it on the third. I mean, and then get get an attack off before it sucker punches a third time. I don't think I'm gonna do it. Um, but I'll rock record and and just hope for the best. Um, it's looking pretty bleak here, to be honest. Yeah, I'm probably going to get 2-0'd. Um, but, hey, it was well well played and well prepped. Um, he, he outled me in his prep and uh, you know, outplayed me too. Um, so Rock Record comes out. Thankfully, it does get that KO. Um, so I'm at least, you know, close that differential a little bit. Um, he didn't sucker punch, which I found surprising. Um, he goes with a drain punch, which, okay, well, that will heal him up a little bit. Um, and then, uh, you know, weak arc armor will activate again. Now I'm at negative two. Um, yeah, minus two defense, um, plus four speed, doesn't matter. Um, he's going to sucker punch here. Um, I think two sucker punches just take me out. But, I mean, yeah, he sucker punches here, but doesn't realize that, you know, I have to recharge after Rock Wrecker, so. Um, free turn, I'll take it. Um, you know, that was a, a, a big blunder there. Um, I'm hoping this x Scissor picks up the KO so that I can I can take this game to steal it away. Um, so, let's see, I mean, you know, can I, can I get it? x Scissor comes out and, uh, whew. Just misses out on the KO. Um, at this point, good game to, to TJ and I reach out to him and say, hey man, good game. And he says, uh, no, you, you won this one, man. I said, what do you mean I won this one? You're gonna sucker punch me, I'm dead. He said that, uh, I'm at a sucker punch. I'm at a sucker punch PP. Um, he didn't PP max his Kangaskhan. And so he was at a sucker punch PP and I steal game two. So, um, you know, I'll take it. I'll take the win. Um, you know, hopefully T Gen learns learns from the mistake and uh, starts PP maxing his mods now. Um, especially for things like uh, Sucker Punch that only have five PP. Um, so I'm back in it, uh, but things are still looking bleak. I, I don't have a lead to counter to counter Urshifu. I mean, um, to counter his um, Rillaboom Kangaskhan lead, and I know that I'm going to get it again. Um, really, the the best the best lead is kind of the same uh, same lead that I led the last game. I think the same four that I led the last game. Um, maybe if I make some reads or um, play a little differently, I can uh, clutch out the victory. Um, and, and stay undefeated on the season. So um, I'm thinking, you know, what if I max? What if I max the Urshifu? Um, I know it's it's choice banded, so um, you know I'll probably lose out on some uh, some damage output max. But um, if he goes with the same turn one play as he did last game, probably probably waste his turn. Um, So, you know, I think about leading Crustle Starmie, um, thinking that, oh, well, if I could just get Crustle set up right away, um, it'll go to town. But I think with, uh, 
I think with um, with that same lead again, um, there's no way he doesn't grassy glide that Starmie. And that's just gonna, I'm not gonna be able to set up the cross soul and it's not gonna be a good, uh, it's not gonna go well. Um, I'm thinking about maybe I'll bring cross last Tauros in the back this time. Um, but I don't love that. I think that, you know, Crustle, it matches up so well against this team. I mean, it hits everything super effectively outside of Kangaskhan. Um, if Urshifu can take care of Kangaskhan, Crustle, uh, Crustle can clean up in the back. So, um, and I need Starmie just to activate it. And if it's decent offense, I mean, I can scald into, uh, into Heatran if he brings it. Um, I just need to take care of that Urshifu before I, I bring out the Starmie. So, here we go for game three. I'm expecting the same lead again. Um, probably the same four, to be honest. I mean, I think that his his four um, have worked out well for him. Um, if I was him, I'd be like, hey, I just got to play a little bit better. Game two, you know, make some, some different decisions. Not sucker punch into a, a, a recharging mod. Um, and I win the game, so uh, yeah, I, I, I'm expecting this every time. So, um, like I said, I'm just gonna max this. I'm, I'm gonna max this airship. I'm, I'm gonna. Um, I'm gonna, you know, try to waste this first turn, um, and then. I just thunder wave the gorilla bloom. Gorilla bloom. No, I, I Thunder Wave the Kangaskhan, yeah, that's right. In case in case his Kangaskhan is faster than my Urshifu, I want to make sure I can get a hit off it before he he gets a hit off on me if he does just, uh, you know, attack it with, like, a, a double edge or a drain punch. So um, that was my thought process there. So first time, first time G-Max uh, Urshifu comes out this season. Um... I knew I probably would bring it out at some point. Uh, this seems like a good match for it. Uh, fake out goes into it like I was expecting. Um, surprisingly enough, no grassy glide this time. Um, oh no, he did grassy glide. Yeah, I was confused by that too. <laughs> in the game too, but uh, Prankster Thunder has pulled me faster than uh, priority. Um, so. That knuckle did a ton, uh, more than I was expecting. I was just trying to get an attack boost. Um, it wasn't a crit, uh, and but it wasn't enough to pick up that KO either. Uh, he hung on by a sliver, maybe one one HP. Um, and I'm just trying to get damage off on that that real boom, and I'll T bolt the Kangaskhan um, and finish it off. Um, you know, at this point, I'm kind of wishing I had Aerial Ace on, uh, on, on Urshifu to, to hit the, to Real Boom, but, um, in my prep, uh, Aerial Ace didn't really do much more than, uh, than a, uh, uh, you know, Max Airstream doesn't do really more than, uh, the G-Max, uh, one blow move, so, and put it on there. Um. And then he maxes his low boom, I guess, which I, I wasn't expecting this at all. Um, I think it makes sense from his perspective, right? Mitigate the damage from Urshifu. Um, kind of meet meet my unexpected G Max with his unexpected G Max. Um, he switches out the the Kangaskhan, saving it for later. I guess that makes sense to me. Um, you know, fake out late game, fake out's always nice. Um, one blow comes out. I was hoping that would do 50% to it to the G Max real boom. It doesn't. Um, so not a two hit KO. Uh, the drum solo comes out. Does a ton of damage, but I do survive with uh, you know, a little bit more than a sliver, I guess you can say. Um, here, I just got to do the same thing. One blow into the into the real boom and um, taunt taunt the Uxie. I don't want to set enough trick room. Um, 
it's a safe G Max move into Real Boom because if it does Max Guard, it hits through Max Guard. So um, I'm kind of hoping he does that. Just just forgets that you know the the, the G Max move will uh, hit through Max Guard, um, hold Max Guard to try to set up Trick Room, um, and kind of waste his turn here. That would be a, the ideal situation. Um, because then even if I don't pick up the KO, I could sucker punch the real boom the next turn. Um, so I taunt the Uxie. Um, go for the G-Max move. I think a crit would do it. Uh, no max guard, unfortunately. Um, no crit either. He holds on with a little bit. I was kind of expecting that. It looks like I may have low rolled the first hit and high rolled the second because um, it did more the second time um, but still not enough for the KO. Um, Urshifu goes down which I was expecting and he does try to trick room so I'm, I'm happy that uh, I taunted there. Um, so now I bring out my, my Crustle. Um, I can't really set it up right now but I don't think that a move from Rillaboom takes it out, and I could take it out with an X Scissor. Um, even without the weakness policy, I mean, there's not much, and then not really much to do with uh, with Thunderous. I'll just uh, I'll just T bolt to get some damage off onto Oxy. You know, I'm thinking I've got to whittle it down until the taunt wears out. Um, and Rillaboom can't really touch Thunderous, so. Um, I'm just a little bit worried that a, a G-Max Drum Solo will pick up a KO on Crustle. Um, I don't think it would, but it could. I didn't calc that. I wasn't expecting a G-Max Real Boom, but he switches it out anyway. I'm, I'm happy with that. He brings in the Kangaskhan, um, so I'll take the free KO. Um, T-Bolt comes out, barely gets it to pop in the, the Citrus, which Okay, that's a little bit of annoying, but it is what it is. I'll take out this, uh, oh, he foul plays into my Crustle, which I'll take that. Um, weak armor boost, so now I'm faster than, than his whole team with my Crustle. Um, I still don't have my weakness policy off, but you know, that's okay. Um, and now I'm just wondering, you know, what's, what's coming out here. Um, Is it Lapras? It is Lapras, so. Um, now my decision is, you know, do I take out the, the Uxie or do I try to take out the Lapras? I don't want to, you know, leave myself exposed with a Rock Wrecker, so I'll just um, go into Uxie and then I want to nerf the damage output from this Lapras. I'm going to go with the Eerie Impulse onto it. Um, I haven't showed Eerie Impulse yet, so hoping to catch him off guard. And I'm Yachi Berry on my, um, my, Thunderous, so I feel like I'm pretty safe there. Um, you know, it's not gonna, Lapras won't be able to do too much damage into me, and then I could two, two hit KO it with Thunderbolt, so. Um, take out the Uxie, no, I don't take out the Uxie. Um, it holds on a little bit, um, which is annoying, because another foul play comes out in the crust, so it does a ton of damage, and it procs Weak Armor again. Um, so now I'm at minus two defense, uh, which isn't great. And then uh, free strike comes out, no big deal. On Yachi Berry, like I said, it's not going to do a lot of damage at all. Um, but it freezes me. And at this point, I'm in a rough spot. Um, I'm just hoping that I thought, you know, get lucky and get a one turn thaw. Um, you know, I, I totally forgot that that freeze strike could even freeze. Um, yeah, there's a 10% chance though. Uh, he got it. You know that's that's tough for my for you. Um, so yeah, I'm just hoping just fall out, please, and get this thunderbolt off, and then I'll be in good shape. Um, I'll take out the Uxie with the the crustal, so that's nice at least. Um, Lapras protects, so okay, no big deal. Um, X Scissors picking up the KO on Uxie. Um, and then I'm just hoping to thaw. Can I thaw, please? Um, still frozen, no big deal. So, now Real Boom's coming out. Real Boom doesn't have a ton of health left. Um, but 
you know, he timed his, his grassy train well. Uh, so he can he can one shot my crustle with a grassy glide. I'm just gonna protect here, just scout, you know, I don't wanna get uh fake out fake out it, you know, stall a turn, you know, maybe give me a turn to thaw on my thunderous, so um, protect comes out, he grassy glides, he doesn't even bother faking out, okay. Um, still frozen. Free strike comes out, I'll survive this. Um, so I just need to I just need to thaw this turn. Um, that's my only chance. Uh, maybe I can survive, maybe after that little bit of grassy train recovery I can survive a grassy glide with uh, Crustle, but I'm minus two. I I'm not surviving. I'll, I'll try, I'll, I'll, I'll exit into it. Um, and then just, I just need to thaw. <laughs> I just really need to thaw. Yeah, so the grassy glide takes me out. Um, I'm still frozen. I'm gonna go down this turn. Um, and, uh, game's over. Uh, he crit me. I, I don't think that crit mattered. I, I wasn't counting how much HP I was losing the previous three turns, but um, it, it didn't matter. I needed to thaw one of those three turns, and I didn't. Um, so now uh, now all I've got is Starmie in the back, and it, it's not, not going to do anything against these two. Um, I figure I'll just power gem with the Starmie. Um, into the real boom. Hopefully, I can take that out, and then I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's it's a lost cause. Help my differential, maybe. I know I can live this, but not by much. You see, it goes down to 17 HP. Power jam. I'm thinking maybe this will do it, but no. I think I think that real boom is is actually AB, um, and then the freeze drive is going to do it. So that's the end of the game. Um, the freeze sucked, but you know what? I mean. I probably should have lost in game two anyway, so I'll take the one game, um, you know, I, I fall to uh, one of my five and one now, um, probably drops me in the third place in the division, but a hey, good game to T-Gen, um, yeah, I hope that he makes the playoffs and, uh, you know, we get a, get a rematch, um, you know, maybe some, some better play out of, out of both of us, some better prep out of me, and uh, some better, uh, you know, less RNG across the board, so. Anyway, uh, thanks everyone for watching, um, and catch me next week when I play uh, P-Dons with uh, Snowbell Blizzards. Um, he, I think probably, if he wins his match later today, he will go to, uh, he'll be, have the same record as me, so it'll be a, a two versus three match. So, alright, later.